welcome back. In this video I'll finish off the rim upgrade on the Mozuki. So uh, this is the matching set of fronts that I got a while ago. They're ITP uh, rims. They're generally used on golf carts uh, and I think it just transforms the whole look of the Mozuki. So I take the hubs off because the original hubs had a different stud pattern, a different PCD and uh, they just weren't going to fit these rims and it was a lot of messing about but I ended up buying these new hubs so I had to modify them a little bit, change the PCD, put change the studs and uh, also meant that I had to put different bearings and seals in so uh, after a lot of messing about and research I finally found a combination of parts that would all fit together and fit on my original um, hubs and uh, finally finish this job off. So here I'm just putting the new bearings and seals in. Um, I use a socket to push it in because when you push bearings in, you only want to push on the outer face if you're uh, press fitting the outer edge and you only want to push on the inner face if you're pushing a bearing on a shaft. So pretty easy, makes it much easier and you, and you avoid any damage to the bearings. So I do the same on both sides. I had to make a custom uh, spacer to get it to fit as well. So just happen to have a bit of metal uh, the right size laying around and um, I progressively fit these onto the Mozuki. They went on pretty easy uh, after all this work and I guess they should because there's um, nothing uh, too complicated about it but use the original brakes still, put them on and you can see how deep this new dish is. Uh, it's, I think it's four inches at the front and five inch or six inch deep at the rear um and uh they look amazing so the tires are a real hassle to get on because you can see how they're super low profile uh, but they did eventually fit so i fit this up i'll take it for a bit of a spin so you can see what they look like and uh i'll aim to do another video of the mozuki sometime soon stay tuned <laughs> 